Oh, we're wrong. Right. The temperature of a freezer is minus 20. If you take a liquid is placed in the freezer, the rate at which the temperature of a liquid decreases is proportional to the difference in temperature between the liquid and its surroundings. What's that that we just described? Newton's law of cooling. Yeah, it's Newton, Newton's law of cooling. This situation is modelled by this differential equation. Do you by the team is minus k times theta plus 20, where time t is in minutes and k is a positive constant. Notice how this is written. As k is a positive constant, pick up on this now, because that's going to be important to check that we've got the right answer later on. k is a positive constant. Express the in terms of t, k, and an arbitrary constant. So this is basically saying, go from this differential equation to write what theta is in terms of the other stuff. We need to end up saying what theta is. Well, if we're going to get from d theta by dt to what theta is, we're going to have to separate the variables and integrate and do that bit. So part one, um, if we're going to do that, we need to have everything involving theta on the left, because d theta is on the top there, and everything not involving theta on the right. So we're going to have 1 over theta plus 20, d theta by dt is minus k. Now we're going to integrate both sides with respect to t. giving us 1 over theta plus 20 d theta and the integral of minus k dt. The left hand side is just a fairly standard integral, that's the natural log of theta plus 20. The right hand side, if we integrate minus k, we're going to get minus kt. At this point, we can put in a constant of integration. Now, it, it's up to us how we choose to, to make the constant of integration, but I'm going to put it as being plus c at this point. We'll, we'll sort it out in a moment. The question actually wanted to know theta in terms of the other things. So we've now got to get theta on its own. So we're going to get rid of the natural log. This makes it theta plus 20 is e to the minus kt plus c. Remember um, that the c is part of the power there, isn't it? because it's all of that has been raised as a power of e. So a correct answer would be theta is e to the minus kt plus c <coughs> minus 20. Or, as is often the case in this kind of question, it might be convenient for us to think about this c bit, the, the constant of integration, as being if this is minus kt plus c, this means it's e to the minus kt times e to the c, because you'd add the powers. So we can write this as being a e to the minus kt minus 20, because that is going to be helpful later on. All that we've done there is taken our e to the c and written it as, as a capital letter a. That's our first three marks. Part two. Now we start getting some useful information to decode that. We're told that when t is 0, the temperature is 40. And at this instant, the liquid is cooling at a rate of 3 degrees per minute. The liquid freezes at 0. So uh, we've, got, we've got a lot to deal with in there. Uh, how should we work our way through that? To start with, we've got that when t is 0, the temperature is 40. Let's see how that helps us. If t is 0, theta is 40, that means that 40 is a e to the 0 minus 20. If we rearrange that, our constant then is 60. So that's quite a good start. What else did it say there? It told us that the liquid is cooling at a rate of 3. Now, cooling at a rate of 3, so the temperature is going down at a rate of 3 degrees per minute. So when T is 0,
we've got this as being, now this says that um, d theta by dt is minus 3, it's cooling at a rate of 3 degrees per minute. So, put that into the original equation up there, that's now that minus k times theta plus 20, oh theta was 40 remember, so minus k times 40 plus 20 is equal to minus 3. Minus 60k is minus 3, so k is 3 over 60, which is the same as 1 over 20. We've got the value of k. Even if we've made a mistake, and we've put that as being plus 3, at this point we could have noticed, because the question clearly said that k was a positive constant, so getting a negative value of k should have run some alarm bells. Um, quite often didn't. Right, what have we got now? We've now got that theta is 60 e to the minus kt, so minus 1 over 20t plus minus, sorry, 20. <coughs> that's our equation. That's the uh, We've got rid of all the constants. That's what we wanted. Um, Find the value of K and find also the time it takes for the liquid to freeze. So we now want to know when is theta equal to zero. That means that 60 e to the minus a twentieth of t minus 20 is going to be zero. Rearrange that to get e to the minus a twentieth of t equals well, uh, take 20 over and divide by the 60, we've got a third. Try and decode this now. Minus a twentieth of t is the natural log of the third. So t is minus 20 um, a third. Which gives us the value of t as being 21 0.97. The question did say to the nearest minute, I think, didn't it? Find the value to the, to the nearest minute. So therefore, t equals 22 minutes. And that would be our answer. There were quite a few people who had the, a negative <coughs> value of k. Which of course at this point here gave you a minus 21.97 minutes. And they bluffed their way through to saying therefore the answer was 22 minutes. But it's another warning sign that something simple was wrong earlier on. You should look for that and spot it. Right. Shh. Final part of the question. For one more mark, it says that the procedure is repeated. On another occasion with a different liquid, the initial temperature of this liquid is 90 degrees. After 19 minutes, its temperature is zero. Now, what does that mean? That means that it, it got from a, a significantly higher temperature to zero in a much shorter time than the, the one that we did. Without any further calculation, explain what you can deduce about the value of K in this case. So it, this one cools much, much more rapidly. So the rate at which it was cooling was much greater. It was cooling much, much quicker. And the only thing that changes here is that we have a different value of K. If it's cooling an awful lot quicker, what does that mean about the value of K? It has to be larger, doesn't it? This, this has to be a greater amount because it's cooling quicker. So k must be larger. That's all we need to write. For the final part, k is larger. Thanks, James.